My name is Mathieu Bossadet, and although I'm not a classically trained chef, my passion for cooking and refined palate have earned me great respect in the culinary industry. Join me as I taste my way around the world, one bite at a time. This is Taking a Bite, Ottawa. Just like most of us, I love ice cream, but I'm a big fan of the Italian variety. Let's check in with master gelato chef Tammy of Stella Luna, where she's making some award-winning gelato here in Ottawa. Hey Tammy, how you doing? Hi, well thanks. Yeah, it's been a while. Welcome to Stella Luna. Thank you very much. I'm really excited. I know that you guys have an internationally award-winning gelato, I mean, yep. right here in Ottawa. So it's a rich chocolate with a single barrel organic bourbon, mm. and we're gonna do a truffled swirl and a maple candied pecan. Where do we start? All right, so what we've done, first of all, we have to do a base. Yeah. And so to make our base, your key ingredients are predominantly milk, a little bit of cream. Okay. I mean, you're with gelato, gelato is predominantly a milk-based product. Yeah. So the milk fat's about five to eight percent. Ice cream can be up to 22% exactly. for good quality ice cream. You're gonna need some egg yolks in this particular recipe. Okay. All of it was pasteurized to begin with, but it gets pasteurized again. Right. Of course, sugar is yep. another key ingredient for that. And sugar actually binds to water and yep. it creates the structure of gelato. So not just for sweetness, but it's important for the actual structure. Ah, some awesome. really okay. good quality dark cocoa powder. Okay. Um, and that, of course, your flavor is only as good as the ingredients you put into it, so very important. That and then we're gonna put some yeah. dark chocolate so what we do, we're going to start with these ingredients. Okay. We're going to raise the temperature to about 90 degrees. Okay. What we need to do to get all those flavors to blend is we need to create um, high heat. Right. And then we need to drop the temperature drastically. Okay. And then hold it at fridge temperature for at least 12 hours. Okay. So that the flavors have time to mature. And you can taste, if I make a flavor with a base that I've done an hour ago, right. as to one that's had time to mature overnight, the depth is missing. It's kind of so like really, soup, right? It is. Soup is you always need, better the next day. Yep, you need to have that time to mature. Okay, so like Italian gelato, like you said, primarily uses milk. Not all gelatos use eggs. Okay. Um, eggs in this is acting as a stabilizer okay. because that's it. Those are the only yeah, exactly. ingredients that are going into that. The lecithin in the egg yolk yeah. is what's acting as your stabilizer. We right. make our batches fresh every day, Absolutely. making sure that they're balanced. Sugar to fat ratio is very important. Okay. So yeah. when we're making a flavor that's predominantly nuts, right. um, pistachio, hazelnut, almond, peanut butter, right. uh, there's a lot of natural occurring oil in those, so mm. we have to add very little cream. Okay. Uh, as opposed to something that okay. might be more like a dulce di leche, more yeah. something sweet, then we need to add a little bit more cream because the sugar, of course, Beautiful. decreases the freezing point. Cool. So it's all science, it's all chemistry. I wish all I had right. paid attention. So you are like a scientist. <laughs> if I had Man only scientist. paid attention. Not a master sh gelato <laughs> chef, but a scientist. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got our base. Uh, we've pasteurized it. Yes. We've dropped that temperature. Yep. It's been 12 hours. Yep. Now we're, where are we now? Now we're ready to make a flavor. All of the flavors that we have, it's, they all stem from four bases. Okay. One is a chocolate base. Okay. And again, it, a lot of people in the gelato world use a universal base. Okay. And they add to it, so they'll add cocoa powder. I found After the that, bases. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I found that our chocolate really is, it differentiates itself in the depth of flavor because of the cocoa powder being heated to that high temperature. In so that that's why I, it's so much more work, but we do that. Then you have all your cream-based flavors. Then there's a base for all the flavors containing nuts. And then we have one for sugary flavors. Um, cool. So what we have today right. is our straight base that we've made with only this ingredients. And then to that, we're going to add bourbon. And because we're adding bourbon, yeah. which we know decreases the freezing point, right. we have to balance it with an element of cream. Okay. So you can add some bourbon to that. Perfect. Whole thing. And then because we have just decreased the freezing point, That's we right. need to add some cream to it okay. to help balance the to sugar balance versus that out. fat. Perfect, So we're yeah. gonna add cream in All there. Right. And then we have to get the super duper blender out because all ingredients must super be. Super duper, that is some serious so blender. So come on over here. Power tools in the kitchen, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll pop it back in our right. candy dandy water. And then what we're gonna do is come over to our blast freezer. So pour that right into there. Perfect. And you get a oh, little aroma delicious. of bourbon, chocolate. Oh yeah, that's, that's so amazing. It smells so good. Perfect. So then we're gonna turn it on. Perfect. And I'm just gonna adjust the setting. 
And now we need to wait for about 10 or 12 minutes. All right. And when it comes out, we're going to be back over here and we're going to be adding some of our pecans. All right. Now, what we do with these pecans is we toss them with um, a really nice local organic maple syrup. And we're going to spread them out on a baking sheet, splash them with bourbon, wow. a sprinkle of Melbourne sea salt just to heighten the yep. flavor. Exactly. We're going to bake them off in the oven until they're almost candied and they're really, really tasty um, to eat as they are. I don't know if I, I don't know if I believe you. Mm. Oh wow. Nice. They get stuck in my braces if I had That's fantastic. Like that. So we're going to chop those up. We're going to add it. And then we have here a ganache that we've made. So the beauty of the ganache, and one of the reasons this flavor did so well, is the complexity. Right. Um, ganache, of course, when it's frozen, will stay soft. That's um, right. It doesn't freeze. So you've got, and it stays uh. warm. So when you get a bite, you've got the crunch of the peanut. Right. You have the, the cool gelato that melts in your mouth, and you're left with right. this warmth that's the ganache yeah which is almost gonna taste like fudge like it a like a like dark a chocolate fudge, fudge in inside so of there so you wow. have all these and then you've got that bourbon aftertaste and it, it's it's complex you have all these different things happening at once in every in every bite complexity by the spoonful yes i like it thank you all right so we'll let that go once it's done we'll uh, get it out and we'll go from there Beautiful. Oh man, you can smell that deep chocolate you can flavor smell of the it. bourbon. It's fantastic. I'm just gonna shut it down. All right. I'm gonna get some nuts. I'm gonna get some ganache. Beautiful. Pop it in there. I love how the ganache is not gonna freeze because Ooh. it's gonna create an amazing texture and flavor. And then I'm just gonna give it a little whirl here just to Excellent. and back in. All about the layering. Yep. Beautiful. A little bit of goodness in every bite. Whew, got some on my shoe. <laughs> don't waste it, Tammy. That's why you don't wear fine footwear in the kitchen. <laughs> Plating gelato, fantastic. Ooh. I think it's ready. Okay, ready let's to do eat? this. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. do it. Awesome. And shall we toast? Cheers. Here's to our award-winning gelato. To Stella gelato. Luna's amazing award-winning gelato. To love of gelato. You get that amazing warmth of the bourbon even, right? I never get tired of this. That is fantastic. Wow. Mm. The chocolate, the depth of flavor like you described before, the crispy candied pecans are just fantastic. It's got all those things happening. I love that heat though on the back. Mm. On the back, yeah. You get the bourbon on the back of the tongue. Tammy, it's been a pleasure. Thanks again for having us. Thanks so much Looking for Looking forward to my next liter of gelato. Good. See you then.